Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. Please support me on, you know, whatever. If you got Amazon Prime, I got that Twitch. I got that Patreon. You can join the Discord. You like and subscribe, all that, you know, all that stuff. But I know you're here for me to shut up and get into the tutorial and leak code or whatever. So let's do that. I just made this video, but uh, the screen was black for some reason. So we're doing it again. This is a binary search problem. Binary search is very important. It's you all, it's almost a, a, in like all internship interviews, I think. And then variation problems are like used to weed out candidates and online assessments and stuff. It's really common. Uh, there's a lot of variation problems. So this is a variation problem. Um, find minimum in rotated sorted array. So we're basically we're given a sorted array. It gets rotated, and then we want to find the minimum element into it. So it's not too difficult. It's actually pretty easy. Um, suppose an array is sorted in ascending order and rotated some pivot unknown to you beforehand. So we have a you know regular array sorted zero through seven, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, seven. It gets rotated so that the seven gets put to the front, the six gets put to the front, five, four. So it's like four rotations to the right and they all get put to the front. And then it comes this. And it's still somewhat sorted, but you know, the uh, you could tell it's only sorted on one half and then it's sorted on the other half, but there's this little discrepancy here. And uh, just noticing that, that's basically how you figure out where the minimum is, is this discrepancy. And you just do a regular binary search and you handle a condition where you check for this little issue where the, you know, in a regular sorted array, you'll notice that like every element is greater than the element before it, right? One's greater than zero, two's greater than one, five is, four is greater than two, four, you know, it's greater than the element right before it. But in, when you rotate it, everything's greater than the one before it, except the minimum, which is what we're looking for. So if we just check, okay, is the element we're currently looking at um, greater than the one before it? If it's not, then like then we found the minimum, right? Because that's the this is the only time it occurs in the rotated uh, sorted array. So it's really an easy problem. You just do a variation of binary search where you adjust the boundaries. Um, I'll explain how you adjust them, but yeah, here's an example. This is rotated. It used to be one, two, three, four, five. Now it's three, four, five, one, two. One is the minimum. This is, you know, same thing. Minimum is zero. It's just the smallest element. Uh, we're doing this logarithmic time, obviously. You could just scan through linear, but that's gonna give you F in the interview probably. Uh, we're doing binary search because that's the only log n time. When you see sorted array, always think binary search. It's binary search. That's what we're doing. It's all good. I mean, that's pretty much it, all right? That's, I, I think I explained it all. So if nums.length is zero, then there's nothing in the array. So we'll return negative one. Okay. If nums.length is one, there's one thing in the array. So we'll return the first element. Um, return nums of zero. Okay, great. Now there, we know there's at least two elements in the array, so we could start our binary search. Int left is zero. Int right is nums.length minus one, just like regular binary search. Nums.right, nums.length minus one, sorry. Um, you do your little thing. Well, left is less than right. Int midpoint is equal to left plus um, right minus left divided by two. Some people just do, you know, right di divided by two or whatever you do, um, you know, uh, or some people just do left plus right divided by two or whatever you wanna do. Uh, this is the proper way to do it from what I understand because of integer overflow. So that's the only reason you could do length divided by, two, you know, do whatever you want, um, but I'm doing the right way. So if you wanna be smart, do it like me. Uh, we're going to be doing a variation so that the boundaries keep adjusting and we're either going to find it within the loop, in which case we'll return. Otherwise, we'll return nums of left at the end because the boundaries will um, end where we find the element. Um, okay, so what are our conditions? So our conditions are we have an array, right? Oh my God, my sketch of everything just went away. I had it all in the last video, but I lost it. I tried to copy and paste, but it's gone. Okay, whatever. Um, whatever, dude. Okay, we have an array, and what the main condition is basically, I'm not dealing with this. If nums, if the middle, L, you look for binary search, you know, when we look at a binary search, right, we have zero, one, two, three, five, six, seven, right? Um, normally you have a target. If we're looking for one, right, you look at the middle element, and then you say, okay, is this less than, is the target one less than the middle element? Okay, then we delete all this and we look on the left side. 
and then we look at the middle, you know what I mean? You keep deleting half of it each time. Um, in this case, we're going to be deleting half the search space each time, but since it's rotated like this, then what we're going to want to do is we're going to find where it's not sorted. So for example, if we look at the middle, uh, let's get a better example here. Like let's do zero one and then put uh, two over here, right? If you look at the middle, like six or five, and you say, okay, this side is sorted. I want to look on this side. You want to look on the unsorted side. That's where you're going to find the, mi the minimum element because there's that discrepancy of no, no sorting right here. So you look and you could check if it's sorted because you could say, okay, you, we have references to the left and right boundaries. So we check the left in the middle and we say, okay, is the left less than the middle? Is two less than six? Okay, yes, then everything within them is sorted as well. We know that for a fact because it's already sorted. It was just rotated. So if this, if two, if the start is less than the middle, this side sorted. So we want to adjust our boundary and look on this side. So we delete everything and we look on that side. If it was the other way around, for example, you know, it was, um, you know, like 701. You know what I'm saying? Then we would look at the middle like two and we'd say, okay, is, um, you know, we could do the same thing on this side. Is, si is six greater than two? Is the last element greater than the middle element? Okay, we know everything's sorted because it was sorted, it just got rotated. And then we know it's on this side, so we just look on the left side. So it just is, you're just changing the boundaries based on what side you want to look on. And the condition is, okay, if the current number we're looking at is um, less than the number right before it, then we found it because the in a sorted array, the number that you're, is a number is never less than the number before it. The number is always greater in an ascended sorting array. So we just return the element because that's what we're looking for. So we just return nums of midpoint. We found it. Boom. This is the find condition. And you want to do also this if midpoint is greater than zero because if midpoint is zero, then you go out of bounds because midpoint minus one would be negative one and you don't want to look at nums of negative one that's out of bounds. So that's the only reason for this. But you're just looking, okay, when we find the break, then that's where it is. Okay, otherwise we want to adjust our boundaries. If nums of left, if the first element is less than or equal to nums of midpoint, meaning it's sorted on the left side and it's not sorted on the right side, we want to go to the not sorted side to find the pivot, the break. So if nums of midpoint is greater than nums of right, that's incorrect, right? That's not sorted on the right side. So since you want to go on the right side, you make the left go to the midpoint plus one. You adjust the left boundary, push it in. The left, it gets cut out. You're on the right side. Otherwise, this means that the left wasn't sorted. So you want to go on the, you want to adjust the right boundary to go towards the left. There you go, that's it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm sorry, uh, I already just did this video and then it went black and then, you know, I lost all my, I gave this little tour. Boolean, int cannot be, if nums of mid, okay, this is stupid, sorry. Um, I gave this like walkthrough of the code and everything, but uh, you know, it did. I tried to copy and paste it, but it didn't copy apparently, so. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Maybe it was a bad explanation, but I mean, really, you just like you know what I mean. It's not that difficult. Like you have a you have a sorted array. It gets rotated. It becomes this, and then you look for the side that it's not sorted on. You keep adjusting the boundaries until you get closer to that, and then the you know what I mean. Like you go on the right side. You don't look at this anymore because you know it's already sorted. So it has to be on this side. And then once you find, you just keep checking the elements. And once you find an element that is less than the element before, clearly that's the minimum because that never happens unless it's the minimum. You know, that's it. It couldn't be more straightforward uh, in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. I, blah, 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 comment below. I like you guys and, you know, I love you. And, you know, you, know, I, you make my dreams come true. And, you know, thank you. And good night. I'm going to bed. Thank you for watching. Bye.